So Justin's going to describe to you how he makes uh, his organic compost, the things that go into it, and what this bin is. So go ahead, Justin. Oh uh, yeah, sure. So um, as you can see, I'm I'm using a bin that you can pick up at uh, Home Depot. This is just a fancy bin. Uh, what I usually put inside of it, and if you want to come over here, maybe you can see it a little bit. Um, you notice little little lumps of goodness, I call them. We actually have a rabbit. We donate time at the Heartland Rabbit Rescue here down in Blanchard, Oklahoma. So very good source of low-grade fertilizer as long as it isn't too much ammonia. Uh, and the way that you get rid of that is by composting it with uh, green waste, uh, kitchen waste that you get just from tearing up them veggies. Uh, coffee grounds are a really good base as well. Um, and of course it doesn't hurt sometimes if you have a little bit of leftovers, uh, peat moss from previous harvest or uh, any sort of garden soil to throw in just a little bit of that to provide a little bit more texture to encourage your bugs, your earthworms, your uh, creepy crawlies and the stuff that makes things good. In addition to doing composting in a bin like that, we can also do open air uh, composting and if you all have seen my other YouTube videos, uh, you've seen some of my open air compost. Now Justin's going to show you his. Yeah, so um, basically what I have here, we, as you probably have seen, I don't know if you could show them, but we've got two huge trees. i got one in my front yard and one in my back in elm and an oak. Uh, so we get a lot of leaves in the fall. So what I built here using some of that recycled fence after we've got our new fence in was uh, build an actual leaf composting bin. So this is just open air. It's going to take about a year, maybe a year and a half, potentially even two, depending on the type of weather that we get. For this really to decompose into a low grade sort of conditioner for soil, help build uh, bulk, uh, potentially increase its uh, water retaining capacity. Um, the only thing really uh, that is different than your typical ones is I did install some chicken wire here. That way, uh, whenever it does get all the way full and I have to build another bin or move on to another one, I can take this apart and I can easily get inside the very, very bottom where I'll want to turn it just to help activate the pile and continue it uh, molding down all those leaves. Looks like it would also provide really good aeration as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially. All the slotted wood and the chicken wire. That's yeah, great. Especially with all the wind that we get. Yeah. In Oklahoma, so. Yep.